Hello, digital media students. Adriana Broger here to let you know that this is the first time you hear me say hello, digital media students. So that's because the RTV or radio and television program is switching over. And as of June of 2021, we will be known as digital media. So you'll hear me say hello, digital media students. And I'm still talking to the same group of folks who were enrolled in RTV. RTV is now moving over to digital media legacy media and legacy titles like radio and television into something that's a little more 21st century. So welcome along, move right along with us. We will be fine. If you are taking RTV classes currently and you're wondering what that will look like for fall 2021, then please know that you're not going to look for RTV, but you're going to be looking for D media. D media is what RTV will be listed under. If you have any questions about what class you were taking now that won't be available in the fall, uh, but there are new classes taking its place, what those classes might be, feel free to reach out to me. You can also obviously see a counselor, but uh, I'd be more than happy to work with you up on that. And I've done that with a number of students over the last week or so. So please reach out via email and I'm happy to help there. But for this particular video, what I'm working on is not explaining all of that to you, but rather showing you why you need to go into your canvas and check on comments that myself uh, or Leo are, are leaving you. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop over here to canvas and I want to show you where we have um, some feedback. I love to use Canvas for this tool. And this is um, some guidance for information that maybe you haven't seen before. And I don't want you to miss this because especially in my classes, I do a lot of one-to-one -one feedback videos where I download what you um, submit to us, whether it is a premiere project or a audition audio file. Um, either way, I will download it and then I will bring it into the software, open it up, and then that's when we start grading and assessing and all of that. So in addition to me watching it and recording the um, me watching it, I will go in and I will leave you notes. And those notes are very specific for your project based on things that I see that your project can be improved on. And so when you get a score and your score might be low, that's what it's reflecting. And it's really important that you understand that I'm leaving you this these comments, because if you don't see that, then you're probably not going back and, and re-editing those. Um, and I see that many of you are doing this and that's great, but this is for maybe somebody out there who's a little bit confused. So let's do this. Here I can see different versions of projects that were submitted to me. So I can see um, that this person is submitting and they are improving a little bit, but they still need some specific work. So I can come in here and I can say, um, I have different notes and different feedback. So here's what's going on. I really wish that these were listed as live links, but they're not. So I say, um, here is the recording from today's video call. And then here is a URL. And I have to go in and put this URL in. If I put this Over URL to... in, it will take me to a recording where I am leaving specific feedback for this individual on how to improve the project that they submitted. Now, that's why it's really important that you go back in and you look for those comments because while it might just look like a little bit, I'm actually taking time to record something specifically for you about your project. And I know that we're not in a face-to-face -face setting where I would love to do that in person, best way to accomplish that is via this uh, tool. And so it's really important that you go back there and you see that you click on it and that you see that um, even though that's not a live link, that's not it. That's not it either. Lots of different things on this. Good grief. Let me go back over here. Here it is. Um, this is where we are getting different feedback and different information. So here is another one. I say, okay, I rescored you, but here are the edits. Um, that we guide you through here. And this is a different video. So if I go here, I can go to All this right. video. Hello everyone, welcome to our- And I can see that here is a new video 
And the way that we do this here is we go through and we can see that these are chapters. So I'm going to look for my initials based on who I am. And if I did resubmit, I can see that my initials might be there and then I can see my file. So here is exactly why this is really important because there is a lot of time that Leo and I take on these Zoom calls with you and we do this so that your experience in distance education can be meaningful. And so I really want to make sure that you understand how we're communicating with you. And that's what this video is about. So these videos that we put up there, a lot of them are unlisted when we do these one to one videos um, because you may not want everybody to see your work. However, um, lots of times I use this system because I am guiding the entire class in one session, but I use the chapters so that you can quickly go and find yours. Now, I will say that while also saying I think it's very valuable for you to watch everyone else's feedback because um, you'll see here we're saying here's how to understand the chapter views. Here's how to do lower third templates in Premiere. Okay. And so, so we'll walk so you through that. So let's say for example. So there's that. And then if I go to this one and we go over here, um, here is um, using Lumetri color panels. Color. And so okay. we're going to talk to you about a lot more than just specific feedback for your, yes, it's good feedback for your video, but you might have an issue that someone else has had. And so if you take time to watch the whole thing, certainly going to be worthwhile. And at least with the chapter view, you can scroll to the things that you think are going to be most critical for you. Um, but this is also another great way to earn lab hours. So please watch. And that's it. I hope this was helpful. Bye.